Ooh, what's up guys and of course welcome to another video from of course me this calendar and uh, yeah today we actually have a rather big update um and when i say big i mean that there are actually a lot of news that actually hit today with koro koro being released and whatnot and koro koro being a japanese magazine we focus on a lot of games but usually uh, the one we care for are of course the one involving pokemon so anyway, uh, we're gonna go all of it, um, as much as we can really, and start speculating as much as we need to, I guess. Um, first of all, really, it's gonna be a shiny campaign of Eevees, which nobody cares for, but hey, shiny Eevees. Uh, I do believe they come with a Master Ball too, so that's kind of an issue here. Uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres are gonna get their hidden abilities and distributed for the first time. They've been locked until now, obviously, it's gonna come out the 1st of Mars. Um, their locked abilities are not that good. Uh, Saptos has static, which uh, defensive static is definitely something worth mentioning. Um, Moltres gets flame body, which is eh, kind of okay. And Articuna gets snow cloak, which is terrible. That mon should have got magic guard. Um, I got that tweet, and uh, there were a lot of speculation what should have been. And honestly, I have no idea why he got snow cloak. It definitely isn't helping the Pokemon whatsoever. And. Um, yeah, just honestly, even a move like uh, Nogar would have made more sense. Actually, I like that idea with Blizzard and Hurricane and whatnot. But you know what? Whatever. You know what it is for this. Uh, it's definitely staying in PU. Uh, also, it's going to be distributed or confirmed is that Brixian and Garchomp and Standard Mewtwo is going to be playable in the Pokégen tournament, uh, that fighting game that's going to come to Wii U. Um, I don't know too much about that game. I haven't really cared for it, and... Uh, I won't care for it that much. Um, little bit here, Brexian. Uh, just me while it respond on that too on Twitter. That it's kind of weird to bring Brexian but not Delphox, uh, seeing it would be more suitable. Um, next thing was, of course, the leaked photos, or obviously not leaked anymore, of Volcanion. And there also is a trailer. If you guys want to see the trailer, it's going to be linked down below here. Um, nothing too much here. Um, they basically uh, explain a bit about what Volcanion are. We still don't have a date for when it's going to be released, but we do get to the Pokemon movie X and Y and C is going to be released, of course, this year. And um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what it is all about. It's very likely that Volcanion is going to be released um, very soon. I do, do believe Hoopa was released like four months after its reveal, so kind of expect something like that here. And um, outside of that, I mean, hmm. I really hope they are introducing a new game really soon. I really think they're going to also. And I think the game will be named X, Y, and C. I'm pretty sure that's the theme they're going for. Uh, we'll just have to see. I mean, and the trailer also showed, by the way. The complete form of the Zygarde. Um, nothing more than that. But, you know, that's it is where it is. If you want to see more speculation, do watch uh, Tamir or Trinitar Tube's video. He kind of nails that, so it's actually fine. And uh, last one up is um, actually that they're going to distribute. Uh, and I can't believe they're doing this. They're distributing the, um, the event Pokemons like Meloetta, Arceus, uh, Vixini, Yurashi, Darkrai, Celebi, Shamin, Mew, Man. Manaphy, Keldeo, and Genesect, and uh, they're all going to be available. Um, I think they are like one week between another. Uh, it's going to be um, or different. They're going to be on different. Um, oh, what do you say? Different places depending on them on. Um, let's see here. Uh, the full details, of course, are on this on smaller side. But uh, GameStop is going to have a few syllabies, I do believe. Nintendo Network is going to have access to a few of them. Uh, Dark Cloud will come in May to GameStop, Manaphy will come for Nintendo Network. Um, oh, distribution is, is actually till, wow, all the way to October. Um, a lot of them are coming through the Nintendo Network, which is, um, which is great. But the GameStop one is going to be exclusive, and uh, <sighs> they're going to be annoying to get. <sighs> Though luckily if you have a power save, you shouldn't really have to worry about that. But that's pretty much it. They did reveal the bundle yesterday. I don't think people are caring too much about that. Honestly, I don't. I, re I, re I really just have to say this, guys. Um, hear me out on this. I don't know why a re-release in uh, 
Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow um, as games like that. Uh, I could get that they can't try to celebrate it, but wouldn't it make more sense if they released um, um, the Fire Red and Leaf Fruit version so you can get those Pokemon out of that game and actually enrich the original game? I mean, these <clears throat> these are not that cool. Then again, you know, I'm not a sucker for these things, so I might I might be in the wrong, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I do like that they go for Pokemon Yellow though in Europe. I do believe that's really nice. Since it actually it's a unique adventure event. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this and do share your own thoughts, of course. And um, if there's something I'm missing out, if anything. So yeah, what if I care about watching as always? And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care. Bye.